All right, Leo, what's going on? Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Thanks for joining me today on the channel. So I'm shuffling the good tarot and I will be doing a wealth and abundance tarot card reading for the month of August 2020. And once again, this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So guys, I hope you enjoy the reading and I hope that it resonates for you. But keep in mind that some or all Mm, you know will resonate for you and for some of you it might not at all but you know um <clears throat> so i'm going to use the essential tarot also to do this reading and i feel like i should just stop talking because i feel like every word i say is just coming out backwards it's like totally not what i intended it to be so <laughs> let's hope that the reading does not reflect my inability to talk show host so anyway, I'll just keep on going here and just wanted to thank you again for being here and subscribing to the channel and for all of your lovely comments. I, you know, I just really, I live for you guys. So, all right, Leo, let's get cracking. And I was really tempted to say, let's get crack a lacking. Um, but anyway, that's just hysterical. So let's keep going here and I'm going to pull a card. So you've got the page of air here. So I feel like... <laughs> Some of you could be actually like beseeching the heavens. Where is it already? So, you know, whether you realize it or not, when you start feeling in a deep need or a deep sense of lack, that's that's actually attracting that into your life, you know? And if you're feeling like I'm not able to do something, it's kind of telling the universe to manifest that for you. You know, you can see with this, particular card with the page of air it's like come on you know but that's that's not a good energy to be manifesting with just so you know um you know you're supposed to be saying things like i am wealthy i am you know and whatever you follow that two words i am with is a very powerful statement so just be very careful about how you're speaking to the universe you know and there's all kinds of subliminals and affirmations that you can say really try to keep that negative self-talk down or really you know um the disappointment with your financial situation try to keep it as positive as possible especially if you're going to be um communicating with your guides and the universe i had somebody comment on a on a video yesterday, I don't even know what video it was, but they're saying, well, I'm going to be mad at my spirit guides and I'm not going to have any love for them until they give me the winning jackpot numbers. And I was like, well, <laughs> you know, no offense, but that's like incredibly not smart, I want to say. So just really keep that channel open of gratitude to start off with. And I know it can be really frustrating when you're not getting what you want right away, but you know, the universe thrives on love, not desperation or anger or fear. So I'm going to do a deck cut and my dog has just arrived. Hi, Lacey. Hi, sweetie. So here's the Ten of Fire here, you guys, which is an incredible card because, it, you know, you're burning away the, the residue of your past life. And it could be this version of your current life, you know, that where you're living in maybe poverty or lack or just not at the level that you want to be at. Maybe you're comfortable, but you want to be like super comfortable, super wealthy. So just take note here that this card is documents on fire. So things are being, you know, dissipated away um, either in this lifetime or a previous lifetime so that you can really start to move into a different aspect of who you are right now. This is very interesting and I really do see that all of this is going to my dog hinge on how you communicate with the universe you know it's the same as if you're going to go and and yell at somebody or you know how you extend a communication is probably how you're going to get responded to so keep all of that in mind Leo so we have the page of fire so you are getting messages in here. You are getting messages. But if you're going to be in this mindset and feeling really sorry for yourself, you're, and that's not who you are, Leo. You know, pouty and 
angry. You know, there's something else going on that's getting in the way to some extent. You're gonna have to figure that out, Leo, quick, because there are messages coming in and showing you how well, okay, well, this is going away and we've cleared, you know, this person or that place that you used to live in or, you know, the, the, the path is being cleared for your highest wealth and abundant timeline. It's like you're giving too much information and not receiving it. And this page of fire is like, are you ready yet, Leo? I'm just going to stand over here and be really quiet because you know I'm here. You're getting whispers. You're getting hunches. But this overwhelming desire to have things at the speed of light yesterday is compelling many of you to not be grateful for what you already have. You know... There's so many people that do not have what we have. That you would be incredibly wealthy in other people's eyes. So it's time to see yourself in that perspective, you know? And it could really help to bring in these messages with the page of fire who is very patiently and very quietly waiting for you to take notice of them, you know? And she's not standing on earth. You know, this is going to be your spirit guide. And they're just waiting for you to have your little, I'm going to make a cat joke, your little hissy fit, you know, your little spat with yourself, you know, especially if you're disappointed with yourself because you're trying as hard as you possibly can, Leo. And I just don't see you giving yourself enough credit for that. Um, <clears throat> and the expectation of instantaneous rewards is a little ludicrous, shall we say. So let's clarify out this. Okay, so on the outside, you probably look really calm to everybody else. But on the inside, it's like you, there's this inner battle going on. You can see how the two of pentacles, he looks really calm, cool, and collected. But in the background, there's all those tossing seas here. So this is what the universe is responding to. It's like responding to that inner tempest for you. Like it's, you're not fooling your spirit guides with a calm demeanor. You know, with the outer um, portrayal of calm and cool. You know, it's not happening. But despite all of this, things are still working to a certain degree, but it's going to need your 100% belief in yourself and your belief in the universe and to not take like a slow return on your energy as negligence on behalf of the universe. So again, we've got the 10 of fire, you know, your, your past financial statements. Uh, I didn't even mean to say statements status but statements like maybe you're in a negative balance or you're getting you know your credit card statements something like that coming in and it's really stressing you out i'm gonna give you guys something um so i used to follow this guru until i had learned everything that i could from him paramahansa nityananda and he gives a a little talk about how to resolve any sort of debt or you know low bank balance and he said to look at your bank balance every day just look at it and just don't feel anything you know just observe it and he said within 30 days um everything should be resolved so i don't know if, if that is legit or not but it, it can't hurt you know oh had a card come out here okay so, okay this is great you guys okay so spirit guide wants you guys to know that everything is going to take you into smoother waters and maybe you've been waiting and waiting and waiting but that's the nature of the universe and things have to be torn down before they can be rebuilt you know um, we don't just build new buildings over top of new buildings the old building your old 
um, financial mainframe has to be removed so that a new one can be brought in. So try to be a little bit more patient. And let's talk about this very patient guide that you have that is waiting. You know, when you're ready, it's almost like, you know, you're in a one-sided conversation. And they're like, oh, but, you know, and they can't get a word in edgewise. They, they're not reaching you. They're probably, you're probably having weird dreams about money. You're probably seeing all kinds of cues around you, having synchronicities, but there's this level of frustration and it might not even be about money. It could be about something else that isn't going very well for you. You know, you could be upset about your work arrangement, your living arrangement, um, relationships. You know, it could be the weather, it could be whatever is, is annoying you. It's getting in the way. It's, it's like putting up a deflector. You know, it's sending out, but you're not receiving. And what you're receiving isn't making you very happy. So if you're all miserable on this side and trying to manifest abundance on that side, they don't go together. All right, so let's turn our attention to this page of fire. Hmm, well, huh, here's her message. She's like, stop moaning about things that you can no longer change about the past you know if you can't change something like basically quit complaining you know you got the five of cups this is like really okay what what didn't happen for you previously and this is what can happen for you over here but again your attention is being led to what's not working for you but maybe everything that is not working for you is something that you need to resolve within yourself or completely ignore until it goes away you know, and there's always a calm way for things to be resolved. So it's time to be starting to look at different options because this is a very strong message from your guide. This is the page of fire and you are a fire sign. And your spirit guides know you way better than you know yourself. So if you're not getting this message for on your own, it, it is definitely time to stop complaining about things that you can't fix, you know, and having the strength to focus on things that you can and moving away from things that no longer serve you and understanding that your energy speaks a language to the universe, you know? So it's time to turn your head the other way, look to the left, you know, because you're looking to the right and this is all white noise meant to distract you from your journey you know, it could be somebody annoying, you know, a family member that you don't want to deal with. Definitely something is like putting a filter in between you and the universe and you're allowing it to distract you. And that's a big lesson for you to learn. Like stat, Leo. Okay, so work on that in October. And then hopefully for November, we'll see a different kind of um, wealth and abundance reading for you because I'm going to say this again. I see this in your readings all the time. You will be the first millionaire in your family, but not if you allow the white noise to get in the way. All right, guys. Peace. Bye.